Hello everyone, this is Deborah Websites and today I want to show you how to create the professional looking carousel with logos or with some other images or some other content for your DV website. So here is my design, uh, the design which provided to me, which I need to develop. Here we have the logos, which in future may be the carousel. Also, it uh, might be not carousel on desktop, but on mobile responsive, it definitely should be like carousel. So like two logos per screen, or three logos per, per screen. So it doesn't really matter. So how do we achieve this result? Okay, let's go to our website. I already cut it and uploaded it to the media library, our logos, you can see them. So to add uh, the logos carousel, we need to go to the plugins. And there is one which I really love. So click add new and write DV carousel. Let's do it, DV carousel. Okay, so now we wait for results and there is image carousel model for DV, which is by learn, learnhubwp.com. Okay, this is my favorite uh, carousel for DV. So just install it like this, click install now and activate. I already installed it. So we activated it. Let's go to our editor and check how it works. Okay, so here is my editor. Let's refresh the page. Uh, here is my, what I have so far. And it looks pretty good to me. I'm not sure if you like it. If you like the results so far, uh, click like and leave some comments to support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe by the way. I'm trying my best to you to show how it works. Okay, so as there is, uh, we need to add a role, right? To make it like design, you see it's a role. So the role is uh, long width. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I will adjust it later. Uh, this video is not about it. Click plus and insert model carousel carousel, which we just added, image carousel. Okay, now uh, this plugin works uh, good only for images. If you need carousel with content, with some text and image, or some other, just uh, testimonials, for example, uh, leave a comment below a video and I will create for you a tutorial how to create the testimonials carousel or image plus text carousel, okay? It's different plugin. Okay, so let's add our images here. Uh, okay, click select and we have our logos here. So the, let's adjust the position, the order for them. So they will be same as design and like this. Okay, so here we can add images, which we already did. Now we need to go to elements and there is a few important settings which we need to adjust. First is slides count. Slides count, we need to make six. So this is slides count per screen, which you want to show. So we have six images per screen. Please pay attention that each cone has same width. So adjust your images to make like this. Okay, slide scroll one. You can uh, change how much slides will be per scroll, per click, uh, which will be, how much will be visible, how many, and show dots and show arrows. arrows. So dots I don't need, and arrows I probably need only for mobile. So let's adjust settings for mobile. We click this phone button, go to tablet for example, and uh, this is not adjusted for responsive, don't look at it. Okay, and uh, let's make three logos per screen. Actually, let's make four logos per screen. Okay, so we have four logos. And for mobile, let's adjust it to be two logos per screen. So it looks pretty good. Okay, I will adjust the responsive battle uh, later for these arrows, uh, but I want to show you basics in this video. Okay, you can uh, change uh, background and other settings, just like in all other uh, DV models. Adaptive height, okay, vertical layout, arrow location site, okay, you can change arrow location. I like site, of course. Arrow alignment center, vertical layout, you see it's become vertical. Okay, layout, center mode, hmm, let's check what it look like. Okay, it doesn't look really good. So which other settings we have? Carousel elements, so and other settings are just for looking. 
What I don't really like is it's not centered. So let's check how to fix it. You can see the logos are not centered inside on column and not centered vertically. You see it's, it's because each image has different height. Please prepare the images on the Photoshop to make them equal height. If they will be not equal height, they will look like this and you need to fix it by CSS. And it's not a good solution. Better to create images as they should be. Okay, so let's check on the front end what we have. And let's try to fix these issues with vertical alignment and the sizes. Okay, so you can see it doesn't really work good. Let's check. Okay, this is our footer. Let's check what we can do with CSS. Okay. Okay, what we have, display block. And say height, you see each image has own height, which is very, very bad. So 77, 73 pixels is the biggest height here. So let's try to do like uh, height, 73 pixels so we fixed issue but it's obviously doesn't work good so when we can let's try to write object fit cover okay and now let's adjust the height to fit all okay as you can see it doesn't really work at all so I need to search for other solution uh, it's actually really bad that each image has own height, own width, and like this has a small column, this has big column, but it doesn't work this way. Each column has to be the same. So we need to search for solution to make it fit. Let's go back to our settings. Let's check which settings we have. Maybe we have some settings for it. Some plugins do have it. Okay, layout, our location, carousel elements, carousel animation, infinite animation. Okay, of course, infinite animation to make it scroll forever. Okay, uh, to make it after play, yes, why not? Let's make it after play and 5,000, five seconds. Infinite animation, image, and what we have here. Okay, nothing, mm, nothing interesting. So probably we need to, to fix it by, let's try to use display flexbox. I'm not sure if it will work actually, but let's try display flex. And we already have display block, so we need to re re rewrite it, rewrite. So different pr pronunciation. Okay, and vertical align it, oops. Tag flex align, just for content, uh, center, okay, it's all oh, doesn't work at all. Uh, align items, center, center, oops, center. Okay, so you see it works, center works, and uh, let's check if it works for mobile. Okay, here I didn't prepare it. Yeah, for mobile it works too, so probably this is my solution for it. Let's add it to the switch track. Let's add it to the custom CSS section. Here is custom CSS section, like advanced custom CSS and just like this. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to reduce the spacing. Let's check the spaces. So I also want to make it centered because it's not centered at all. It's left aligned, you see, inside the box. So probably we need to write a uh, text align central, no, margin zero auto, right. So margin zero auto works and it's all centered now. Mm, but the position of, uh, but, but the shape of logos, I don't like at all, but I don't have any other solution for it. Uh, the logos should be same height and same width and it's really important for a section like this. So let's do it margin, zero auto, oops, space. Okay, so now let's adjust the height, which we actually need to do. 
and object fit cover. Okay, so to make it same, it's uh, 26 27 pixels, but it's too small for this values. So uh, you can see right now they are the same height, and because of different shapes, this values looks good, but this not. So they all need to be pretty same looking. This is the problem of these sections. Okay, to fix it, what I can propose is let's check. Let's check, let's remove our 27 pixels. Ah, where is it? Okay, here is custom height, 27 pixels. Uh, actually, I can write max height, okay, max height. And the most, uh, the biggest was 73, so let's make it 62 to make it smaller, but okay, just like this. Okay, so max height, object fit cover. Uh, so right now it looks uh, pretty good, but uh, what I would do is uh, to reposition the logos. So let's add our custom CSS here, uh, like here, okay. And now we need to reposition images to make it looks better because, oh, it's squished, oh no. Let's check if it's squished. No, it's just shape of the logo. Okay, so the solution can be to reposition some logos to make it look better. Okay. Okay, so it needs to refresh the page because it's glitch with scissor with to the same logos. I need to refresh it and refresh here to see the final result. I hope this the final. Okay, so you see I the reposition logos and it looks much better because of uh, shapes here are the same, here are the same, so it looks pretty good to me. Uh, what I would also do is to make the width, let's check the width. Okay, ruler and let's check it's, okay, the width is pretty right. The, the width is pretty right. Okay. So what we did, we have the for the logos carousel, which we can, if we will add one image more, there will be uh, the slider. But if we change the screen, it becomes to the slider. Okay, so it's really good for responsive. So actually, let's. Uh, what I don't like is uh, the amount of items per screen on mobile. I really want to make it three images. Okay, three images. I'll adjust the responsive. You can adjust it to your uh, to, to your request. What your design required it? And my design required it to be like this. So it's probably pretty similar. Okay. Uh, this screen, by the way, ha has video. I'm not sure why it doesn't work uh, in this browser. Uh, I read that. The WordPress has some bug. Hope it will be fixed in future. But uh, it should be like this. So just like this, which is looks pretty cool. Okay. Hope I, uh, you like the result. If so, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.